so I officially have my first ever apology video to be made to all you hundreds of people that comment on my TikTok video threatening me and telling me I'm a Tory when I live in a council house. I do apologise. I apologise for giving them crack it, sorry, normal human beings who are drinking on the streets. The world's hottest chili. As you can see here, out of respect, I took the video down, even though I had 1.1 million views. But, yeah, if this video gets 25 likes, I'll go do it again. <laughs> Where's me Roadman cap up man? Whoa, wait there. Who is this bit of bad boy about in the camera? The lighting in? Get the lighting? You know what? I look like a year seven roadman waiting outside the school gates to go bully one of the little nerds on my push bike that I just stole from the dandy cart. Yeah, so this part of the video is a bit confusing. I went into it trying to do a documentary style. Go to this fucking haunted building, but I just turned it into a fucking shit show. Oh, so cute. Oh, there's a big shit in the toilet. Yeah, that can just shut the fuck up, like. First, I want to share with you why I decided to go to this place, Angel View Inn. It was investigated in 2005 by a paranormal team of the world northeast. They found evidence of poltergeist activity, including cold spots, temperature changes, orbs, and bars of light. Items were also seen moving, and belongings were moved from their original position. This is why I went to this place. But yeah, that's why I went there, because I wanted to fucking find some ghosts. I wanted to get shagged up the ass by some ghosts. So let's do a room review. Start off with our bad boy Samsung TV. We've got our bad boy set of drawers that are a bit, you know, peeling. It's in the... Oh, why are these all dodgy? There's a crumb left in there. And there's a random question. Is it speculations about this place being haunted? I read online this one to be like really haunted. I haven't met anybody yet to be honest. Is there any staff in to ask about what it is? Um, you're not allowed in. Not, not allowed in there? Well, it's COVID. You're not yeah, no, to. I just thought you were allowed in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, but you're not allowed to talk to the staff after oh, the not? interviews. Why well, not? Unless it's outside. I fucking know it's COVID, you stupid cunt. Can we just say it's like our night's nice Primark hoodie on? And then we got the Chumble merch on underneath, but I was freezing so I had to get Primark hoodie. Eight pound for this, right? Bargain. <laughs> oh, shh, shh, shh. In the camera, mate. Shh. <laughs> it just all depends on how they look. So they're like chavy and they're gonna bray me, then you know we can't be doing that shit because. As I've, got, I've got a question, right? There's two people, combined age of 30, two lasses. What, what ages are you shagging? Combined age of 30. 15, 15. How are you? Still underage though. 15, underage? Underage? He's a nonce. Hey! <laughs> How's the night going? I'm freezing as well. Arrested anyone yet? I, I want to see someone get arrested. Where's, where's all the idiots at? That's what we, that's all what, oh, we want to go find them. So near the big market. We're, we're, we're heading there now. <laughs> the rest of the two nuns. Who said these shag 15 year olds? How many Legos can you stick up your bum? <laughs> um, extra small. How many can you stick up your bum? Fucking <laughs> yum! Can pop wheelies? I don't know what I do. What about windows? Oh, boy. Oh. Absolute boy. Oh. Did man. You enjoy the rest uh, of your yeah, night, yeah? Go stick some more Legos up your bum. Uh, I get That's the one. How many Legos do you reckon you can stick up your bum? And uh, honestly, I, 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 I'll fit three up mine. No, see, I'm serious, mate. I've got no idea. Have yeah, you ever tried? No, it depends on the size of the brick as well. Yeah. <laughs> the big brick, big one, big yeah, one. Yeah, big. Big one? Oh, yeah. man. I reckon you could have fit three of them up. Cool. So we've just went out for Nando's. Turned the light out, confident when we went out, we turned the light out. 
and it's back on when we come back in. There's the first experience. It's so fucking cold. And absolutely pouring down with rain. This is what it looks like. But honestly, it's fucking freezing. The reception says it's open till half, till 11, and it's fucking locked. That looks like someone's standing there, what the fuck? I'm gonna go try the back doors, because honestly, it's like fucking minus two in that room. For being a haunted hotel, it's not that bad yet. Um, we've heard a few noises. Not very, not very many, but a good couple. But it's just weird, but I'm going to record all tonight to see if I can get any noises. Where the fuck is everyone at, mate? Staff are meant to be in here. I know I look a fucking tip right now, but I don't care. This is literally about, I don't even know, three weeks after I went to place the, the Angel View in, yeah? I looked back at a bit of the footage and I was like, ah, now, now it's gonna fucking happen. You know, uh, I might not even upload it. Yeah, what's that then, about three in the morning fucking falling off the bed? Sorry, if you listen to it back though, it sounds like someone's getting ragged around and then it's fell off the bed, or fell off a drawer. Mm. I'm going to do more of these. Recommend a place to go in the comments and I'll fucking go with it because this has creeped me the fuck out. I promise you all this is not fake. So, yeah, it's creeped me the fuck out.